This all-girls robotics team is designing and building robots, taking the competition world by storm, and inspiring other young women to do the same. And they do it all with style. Our goal for the Nerdettes is to expose like our community and other communities to robotics in general and first. And we want people to see that it can be fun and we want girls to see that it can be fun. And we want them to branch out into the STEM field and see how first is a stepping block into that career. The team, cleverly named the Nerdettes, formed when Emily joined a robotics team. Turns out it was almost all boys. So I get there and I'm like, I'm seeing what they're doing and it's actually really interesting and I, I'm liking it. But the boys want me and the other girl to make posters instead of doing robotics. And you know, that's not really what I was there for. I wanted to build a robot if I was going to be there. So we came up with an all-girls robotics team so that all the girls could be doing all the work instead of the boys. Emily saw a need for a more supportive environment for women in robotics. And so the Nerdettes formed. Women don't judge you for being women. They're not going to look yeah. at you and be like, you can't do this because you're a girl. No, we all know that we're capable and we all know that we can do these things. They even started training a younger group of girls to help prep them for the Nerdettes called the Gear Girls. It's also really fun that we get to go out and do a lot of outreach with our community. The Nerdettes have had many successes in their years together, including making it to Worlds. These are the best robotic competitions from around the world, but they stayed strong. They, they knew what they could do. They knew their limitations and they just had a stinking ball at that competition. Being an all women's team in a predominantly male dominated field, they always come prepared to show exactly how talented they are every chance they get. I don't see that they're looked down upon, but between their positive outgoing bubbly attitudes and their, you know, bright pink shirts and leggings and skirts that they wear and their uniforms, they definitely get noticed. They have inspired other girls and all girl teams. In competitions, people don't take us seriously sometimes. You don't have to like it, but I'm going to be in there and I'm going to be playing. The Nerdettes proved to be something special, unlike any other robotics team any of them had experienced before. Our team is like a really close group mm -hmm. of friends now, and I don't think you can find a team that's like better friends than we are. It has been an amazing transformation to see how confident they have grown in their public speaking skills and being able to talk about what they do and what their robot's able to do. As some of them prepare to graduate, they want the Nerdettes' legacy to continue on. To get other people into robotics and to see what we do in robotics, and we want other people to get into it because we feel like first is just shrinking so much right now, and we want to build it back up and so that more people get into robotics. And so we want people to see the Nerdettes and be like, oh wow, they created two new teams this year, and they're like getting little girls into robotics, and that's how we want to be seen.